If you hate messes, don't do this. If you like watching other people make messes, then this is the perfect thing for you. Oh yeah. For this pour, we're going to be using acrylic paint mixed with a pouring medium. And for our pouring medium, we mix together water with um, clear liquid glue. And what this does it is it helps um, adhere the paint to the canvas because when you just water it down, it doesn't quite stick as well. And sometimes it can make the colors not as vibrant and bright. So this is what you, we use for our pouring medium. And we're also got some rocks to potentially make like a geode. All right, let's get started. Is there like a theme or anything that you're going with here? I'm trying to make it look similar to a geode. I think it's getting there. It's getting there. I wonder if you lost that layer of gold on the bottom. Well, what I was going for was getting, because in most geos, they have like a little outer layer of golden. So I was trying to make it like that. Are you going to move it around or not with this one? Maybe just a touch. I don't want to lose the round shape of it. All right, while you're doing that, I'm going to start pouring my one. I have... No idea what I'm going to go for, but I'm going to go more of like a straight lines instead of circles like Daisy. We have gold and silver. I would use some white, but there's none left. I think I'm just going to go for those three colors first and now Kind of like pour it around and hopefully it makes something awesome. We've ran into some pretty big camera issues by using the Galaxy S10. It's gone all blurry halfway through, but we're about to start a new one because I have these like rock things that I really want to try and make almost like a geode style shaped one with. Um, this one here turned out really cool. All I've done is use three different colors, the silver, blue, and gold, and it kind of turned out really cool. It's making veins almost through the gold with the blue paint. I'm excited to see how this one dries up, and then potentially afterwards, uh, once it's completely dry, we're going to be putting some, like, epoxy style stuff on it to make it super glossy. Um, I think that's all it does, right? Yeah, it's a it's a pour on glaze that covers it and makes it so it has a very smooth and polished finish. Yeah, so we're excited to do a couple more of these and we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully you like the ones that we've already done. Yeah. <laughs> so Daisy started with this massive canvas and it's kind of going everywhere now. I'm just trying to get it all the way to the edges so that the sides of my canvas are also covered. So I'm just using a little finger painting here for a moment just to get the edges. So we kind of ran out of the Selma's glue that we were using to try and make the medium. So I've used dish soap and water. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but that's kind of a whole thing behind this is just experiment. So I'm going to try to use some of this glitter this time. I want the blue one. And it just so happens to be the blue paint is the one that I've added dish soap to. So I'm going to make like a, almost a base of blue and then add my two thick ones, which is going to be the purple and green, and see how that turns out. I'm also going to be adding glitter to mine, but mine's going to be more of a fine glitter and it's going to be um, a similar color to the paints that are already in here. But this is not at all how I was expecting it. But that's cool. Let's see how it turns out. See the purple and green are a lot thicker. So I'm just trying to cover the edges. I don't know why I was thinking that this was going to be anything like a geode. <laughs> because now just on straight lines. Geodes are normally like, I don't know, different. Not like this. I don't know what else to do. Maybe I'll do like a white 
not that there's like almost any weight left. Super lumpy. That's gross. Hmm. The lumpy white is really complementing the green when I do that. Now this looks like art. We recently went to New York and we're at the art museum. Which one was it? The, the MoMA. We went to the MoMA museum and there's literally just a painting with four different shades of white on it. And that was art. Maybe they did something like this and they're like, Psh, I don't want to deal with this. And they covered it completely with white. Ooh, yours kind of looks like the ocean. I like it. Yeah, I don't know what I think about it. I think it looks good. I think I like my first one a lot more. Um, it's just sprinkled water. Yeah, it's up. <laughs> Should I use some of Oh, this is like glass. Yeah. Ooh, this is cool. It's like safety glass, how it like shatters. So maybe I don't want these big pieces, but... Ooh, this one's glass. It's small little pieces. Uh, I don't think it's going to work in that corner. It needs to be like some glue or something. Maybe pour some glue on it. Okay, well, I'm going to let this one here dry. I'm sure should Daisy... I stop doing these? I think Daisy should... Keep going. And then once I think these two dry, we're gonna put this on, the pour on, which puts like a strong gloss over the top of it. Hopefully and there's enough for both of us to do it. Pretty cool. So here's my one here, the last one that I did. Here's Daisy's. She's put the rocks all throughout the middle of it. It looks kind of cool and there's glitter all over it. So when that dries, it's probably gonna turn out pretty epic. And then our other two that we've done, here's another one that I did. This one here I really like. I can't wait for this one to dry so we can see what it turns out like. And then our other two are also drying right now. But we will see you soon when they're all dry. We'll see. Our cats are helping us clean up right now. Would you love cleaning up? So our paintings are starting to dry and some pretty cool things are happening. So Daisy's one here is just crazy in every single way it could be. But like the colors are starting to create these like veins back here, which are really cool. And then this one here is just, uh, I can't explain it. But this one, my second one that I did is really cool. So like the veins that it's making between like the gold and the blue right there, I really like. We didn't end up with too much paint everywhere, but we do have some blue spots there. And over here there's some more blue spots on the ground. And then Daisy got blue on our couch, but it's pretty much all gone. It was around that area, which is fine. It's all part of doing this like dirty pour. So if you don't like getting messy or making a big mess, this is definitely not for you. But Daisy's done quite a few bits of art around our house. We've got all of these ones here. She does want to be like an art teacher one day. There's some over here and another one here. And in our room is full of art as well. So these are our finished products. For these two, they were on the thin canvases, so we thought it would look really nice if we put them in a frame. For these ones, they're not going to fit into a frame. Um, and for these, we're going to put a clear coat on top of them, but they're still partially wet. So we have to wait until morning in order to do that. Yeah, so these two here, these are our first two that we did. Um, we did run into a lot of small little issues with our camera so those didn't record properly that is the first one that daisy did and then my one so these are on like super thin canvas like paper um 
and they were kind of drying and starting to bend a little bit so yeah we've decided to put them inside a frame and they look kind of cool like that that one there was my very first uh second one that i did on a canvas i really like the way that like the gold and the blue are mixing i think it looks epic i like it and then this is daisies um, i like the way that this turned out but it's taking a lot a little longer to dry because i did have to pour it on so thick in order to, for it to reach all of those edges um so there are still a few areas that are drying but it has all of these like crushed up rock glass pieces um, and i think it looks really cool especially when you see the light reflecting off of it Thank you guys for watching this video. I know we did run into quite a few issues with the camera, but this is just a small little project that me and Daisy are wanting to try out. We do want to try some other projects um, like this on our channels. Uh, so we have decided to put all of these paintings on eBay for $1 for a week. And if they so happen to sell, then it would fund more paints and stuff that we can buy and uh, other things so that we can do more projects. Thank you guys so much. Check the description to go check them out. Bye.